Hello and welcome back to our channel Valley Anivesh. In this video, we will be discussing another important financial ratio, the return on assets ratio. Return on assets is a key metric used by investors to assess a company's profitability and efficiency in utilizing its assets. In this video we will be talking about some important parameters such as What is return on assets ratio? How to calculate return on assets ratio, its formula and we will see a simple example. How to interpret return on assets ratio? How is the return on assets ratio manipulated by companies? And lastly the summary. But before we dive into the details, I would like to request you to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to stay updated with our latest videos. Also, if you like the content of our video, don't forget to like this video and also share it with your friends and family to support our channel. What is Return on Assets Ratio? Return on Assets is a financial ratio that measures a company's profitability in relation to its total assets. It indicates how effectively a company is utilizing its assets to generate profits. Return on Assets is expressed as a percentage. Higher return on assets values generally indicate better performance. How to calculate return on assets? The formula for calculating return on assets is Return on assets equals net income divided by average total assets. Where? Net income, it represents the total profits earned by the company after deducting all expenses, taxes, and interest. Average total assets, it is the average of total assets of the company over a specific period. It is usually calculated as the sum of the total assets at the beginning and end of the period, divided by 2. Let us understand how to calculate return on assets ratio with simple example. Let's consider a company called XYZ Limited that reported a net income of 10 lakh rupees for the financial year ending on March 31, 2022. The company's total assets at the beginning of the year were 1 crore and at the end of the year were 1.2 crore. To calculate return on assets for XYZ Limited, first we need to find the average total assets. Average total assets equal to total assets at the beginning plus total assets at the end divide by 2. So it's 1 crore plus 1.2 crore divide by 2, which will be 1.1 crore. Now, we can use this information to calculate return on assets. Return on assets is equal to net income divide by average total assets, which will be 10 lakh divide by 1.1 crore, which is equal to 0.0909 or 9.09%. So, the return on assets for XYZ Limited is 9.09%. How to interpret return on assets? A higher return on assets indicates that a company is generating more profits per dollar of assets, which is generally considered favorable. It indicates efficient utilization of assets to generate profits. However, the interpretation of return on assets can vary depending on the industry and company size. Comparing return on assets with industry peers or historical performance of the company can provide better insights. How is return on assets manipulated by companies? Companies may manipulate return on assets by using various accounting techniques to overstate or understate their net income or total assets. For example, they may use aggressive revenue recognition practices, adjust depreciation expenses, or manipulate inventory valuations to artificially inflate return on assets. It is important for investors to carefully analyze a company's financial statements and consider other financial ratios to get a holistic view of a company's financial health. In conclusion, return on assets is an important financial ratio that measures a company's profitability in relation to its assets. It is calculated by dividing net income by average total assets. A higher return on assets generally indicates better performance, but it should be interpreted in the context of industry and company size. It is important for investors to be vigilant for any potential manipulation of return on assets by companies. So that's it for today's video. I hope you found this information useful. If you did, please give this video a like and share it with your friends. Once again, please subscribe to our channel to get more videos like this. Thank you for watching, and we will see you in the next video.